How's it going, Hot Shriek users? I'm Sports by Dustin, and today I'll be going over the MLB Hot Shriek slate for Friday, August 12th. But before we get into the video, if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do that right now. We're just a few away from 100. Let's try and reach that with this video today. Also, like this video if you haven't already, because uh, that really does help us out. And if you're not on the Hot Shriek Fantasy app, use the link in the description, download the app, use the code in the bottom of the screen you see now. You'll get $10 bonus plus 100% deposit match up to $1,000. We have a million games tonight, guys, so there's going to be plenty of live entries to be placed, plenty of games going on all at the same time. So make sure you guys are taking advantage of the live props. Uh, Red Sox, Yankees, you think uh, uh, Aaron Judge is going to take Evaldi deep in his first at-bat? Make sure you guys get the live prop in for that. Um, but let's go ahead, get into the video. My first play of the game is going to be a strikeouts prop. It's going to be Corey Abbott over two and a half strikeouts. Corey Abbott. Doesn't look the best off this first rip, right? But if you look down here, he's only really started the last two games, uh, throwing 76 and 79 pitches, missing once and hitting in this game here against the Mets. So really, let's just take away those other games. We're going to look at these these two games here. Gone over once and missed by one once, right? He's going up against San Diego. That has been decently prone to strikeouts. They're about the middle of the pack. But if we look here, they have allowed... Each pitcher in the last 15 games, 12 out of the last 15 games, the pitcher, the starting pitcher, opposing pitcher, has gone over two and a half strikeouts. So keep that in mind. That's a good stat to have here with us. And another thing that I kind of like is here, even though he's got, he went one, two, and one innings, he got three strikeouts here in two innings, and then in one inning he had uh, two strikeouts here against St. Louis. So that's also good because he can he can do it, get two in one inning, and and he went into the uh, almost the fourth inning here and the fifth inning here. If we can get five innings out of Abbott, I like him definitely to go over two and a half strikeouts. That's a great play there. My next play is going to be Rodone over seven and a half strikeouts. Rodone against the Pirates, who we know absolutely can't hit lefties. They strike out a ton to lefties. And he's pitching basically 100 pitches a game uh, going into the sixth, seventh inning and in some of these, fifth inning like basically for sure. He's already got a, a pretty good K rate against some of these guys he's faced in basically one game's worth. Uh, three and one, uh, three and two, four and three, uh, five and two at bats. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He, eight strikeouts just right there, and that's what we're needing. They just let Madison Bumgarner, Madison Bumgarner, who is not really a strikeout pitcher anymore, go for eight Ks last night. And now they're going up against Rodon, who we know absolutely crushes it uh, when it comes to Ks. He's gone over in 11 of 22 games, and three of those games he did miss by one. But now he's going up against basically the worst team against left-handed pitchers almost. Uh, their second worst striking out 26% of the time, 28% over the last 30 days. So I like where he's at in this spot. I think he's going to go over against uh, a Pirates team that is just bad against lefties. So my next play is going to be the play I, I, I'm just against other people in this play. Some people have him going over. But I think the stats say that he's going under. I'm taking Michael Kopech to go under 6.5 Ks. Uh, if you look at this, he's only gone over three times in 20 games this season. Now, I get it. He's going up against the Pir or, sorry, up against Detroit, who is the worst team in the last 30 days, uh, striking out against right-handed pitchers. But if you look at this, they have only allowed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so like 5 out of the last 15 games. Uh, to go over that number of, sorry, six in the last 15 games to go over the number of seven, seven K or six and a half Ks. But Kopech really isn't that much of a strikeout pitcher. You can see here, he has not gone over this game at all in the last, or gone over this number at all in the last 10 games. And only, like I said, only three times on the season. He's struggling to get four strikeouts, uh, let alone asking to get seven strikeouts. I don't care if it's against the Tigers or not. Look at this. Boom. Against the Tigers, both times this season, he has three and four strikeouts. He is not striking out this team much, uh, you know, whether they just hit him well or not. He's just not a super strike strikeout pitcher, and 7K is a lot, even against the Detroit team that's been striking out against right-handed pitchers. This is a little bit of a riskier play. I know a lot of people are on his over, um, especially if they got him at 5.5. Uh, they were on his over, but you're asking for 7Ks from him. I like him to go under this prop. So just to recap, uh, Corey Abbott to go over two and a half strikeouts. Rodone over seven and a half strikeouts. Kopech under six and a half strikeouts. These are my three favorite pitcher props for today. 
Now, do know there's a lot of good hitter props. Um, you you got uh, Juan Soto going up against his former team for the first time to just get one hit. Uh, that's something I like. Um, I like Aaron Judge to go over 1.5 total bases a little bit. So just some little bonus things I was looking at. Not quite uh, part of this video, but things for you guys to look into yourself. But that's it, like I said, for the video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, like this. And then also, have fun playing on Hot Streak today.